Hi guys, so as you know, I've been on holiday for a week. Um, my last video that I did, it was talking about fake tanning and the fact that I go in town on holiday and stuff. You can see very distinctively my bikini line. I didn't even think it was going to be that bad until I realised it was that bad. So, yeah, I did catch the sun and, yeah, for me, usually I don't tan to save my life. And my face is just, like, really brown. But I'm peeling already. It's so scary. I mean, I've only been back one day and I'm already peeling, so I'm sitting there with, like, moisturising cream and stuff. Um, also, I've got my summer ball tonight. Half seven. Um, I'm looking forward to it, actually. We get it once a year at college. Um, it's, like, a big well done at the end. Basically, it is just an excuse to wear a pretty dress. Um, which is quite unusual for me because I'm not that girly. But um, to wear a pretty dress and to get drunk, basically, and eat good food and be around good company, um, sort of good company. It can sometimes be a bit hectic. So I'm really excited. Um, I don't even know what the time is at the moment. I think it's about one o'clock and it doesn't start till half seven. So, you know, I've still got to wash my hair, I've got to do my nails, I've got to get ready, I've got to get some money out of the bank and... Blah, 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 blah. Today is also payday, which I'm really happy about. Um, <coughs> um, I'll do a... I went to Tesco's and I did, like... I've got a few little bits. So it is, like, really crap. But I'll probably do, like, a little haul that I got in Tesco's on payday anyway. Um, 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 I don't really know what else to say apart from the fact that I'm going to crack on with the video. Um, so this video is going to be about things that really annoy me. Really, like, annoy me. Uh, 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 at the airport... <coughs> <laughs> or on the aeroplane when you're going to or coming back from holiday um, bearing in mind I had to be up at two o'clock last Wednesday two o'clock in the morning to go to the airport for my flight that was at half six no it was at six and you know half two in the morning naturally we're all tired <laughs> normally and yeah uh, also I apologise I have just come back from the stables I haven't seen my horse in like horses in like a week so I went up stables and he was a little shit so <laughs> I am actually looking really really rough but hey ho you know whatever life goes on this is what I'm doing for you guys so things that really annoy me at the airport <coughs> overhead compartments this is on the plane if you've never done on a plane before you know it's like a big coke can with wings right and um don't worry it's not like that but it's like aluminium with wings so yeah coke can with wings I guess and inside the plane, they've got all the seats, and they've got the little aisle, and then they've got the bit where the captain is, and then they've got the bit where the tail is. And that's where, like, my seat was, you know. I was at the back of the plane, um, quite noisy, smelled a bit bad. But, um, you know, it got me from A to B, I didn't care. And um, on the top, they've got the overhead compartments where you can put, like, hat and luggage or whatever. And um, it really bugs me because everybody just jumps up and they just put their things in and they take their things out so quickly. And it's like we have, the plane hasn't even, like, stopped yet, like, if you've just landed and they're already up you know it says do not take your seat belts off until you get like to a complete stop and don't get up and all these people just get up you know we're so british we, you know we just get up it's like we've never been to a, another country before people were just incapable of sitting their asses down and they just, they just can't wait they had this really rude woman on the way back and you know like we were waiting to go like to get off the plane and she was just like eh, and i was just like my dad was sitting there and he was just like you're a twat so yeah you know that is quite frustrating. But anyway, so the overhead compartments. With all the people that are, like, shoving them in and making their bags fit, and then they've, they've got all their bags in, you know. We're all ready to go. We're all sitting down, you know. We've all got our seatbelts on. The kids are still screaming. I'll get into that in a minute. And then all the stewardesses are like, hello, have you got your seatbelts on? And we're all just like, yeah, thank you. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's great. And, you know, you're all waiting to get on and to go and to go and get some sun. And then everybody decides... Oh, I've got to get something out of the bag. And it's like, oh my God, we're going to take off in a minute. And for God's sake, you should have thought about that before you sat down. Or even before you got on the plane. Get out whatever you need first. Instead of pissing everybody off, you know, I've got this woman behind me. And she's terrified of places. She's like, oh my God, we're going to die. Oh my God, oh my God, we're going to crash. And it's going to be like, oh my God, it gets like, say goodbye to my fluffy cat. Oh. You know, it's just like, come on, we just want to go. And then when... When we all sat down, you know, I've done this flight 18 years. You know, I've been there to Menorca and back, like, so many times. And, you know, it's about a two-hour, ten-minute flight. You know, not too long compared to some places like Cyprus, where it's, like, five or whatever. And um, the captain speaks, he goes, Hello, everybody. Today the flight is going to be three hours and 35 minutes. And we're all just sitting there like, Are you kidding me? 
three hours and 25 minutes to get to Menorca. We were just like, oh, Jesus Christ. And we're like, well, why? And they're like, France is having a strike and we cannot fly over Air Forces. So we are having to fly around the Atlantic Ocean and then make our way into Mahon Airport. And we're all just like, oh, my God. You know, if you scared of flights or if you don't like flying or if you haven't gone for a ship before you've left home you know the worst thing you can hear is that you're going to be on the like the plane for like an hour and a half compared to usual so you know we sort of got over that and then again with the overhead compartments everybody kept getting up and then you got the screaming kids that i oh i get it it is hurt on planes you know mine still hurt on planes when i land not so much when i take off it's definitely more when i land and you've got kids are just screaming and you know you're tired you're hungry you just want to get there or get home and you know you're you're hot and you're just bored and oh and you've got this kid going man i want food i want sweets i want chocolate i want to get on i want to get off i want to go out the window i want the window no you want the window i want to sit on mum's side no you want to sit on mum's side i want the seat but no you want the seat but bang parents how do you do it okay if i was just sitting around it and it was driving me crazy not mentioned having to actually do that i feel for you also i have a cold so i was even more just like oh time i won't great this video is such a rant it's terrible um my chair getting kicked oh god that's a horrible any of you out there had your chair kicked continuously when you're on the plane again you're tired you're hungry you want to get there you want to get home you need a wee you want to get up you can't get up there's people at the queue you know You've got turbulence, the plane's shaking and all your drinks are spinning everywhere and it's just, oh, God. And then, you just, oh, you've got this one person behind you. And it's not always kids that are kicking you. It's usually the adults. And it's just like, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh sorry about that. Actually, I'll take that back. They don't even say sorry. They just keep doing it anyway. And that really annoys me. Like, really, really annoys me. Um, people who don't say please and thanks. Um, I found this definitely more when I was actually on holiday, but I also find it a lot more when I'm there. Like, if you wait for someone, like, to go past, or you're waiting for somebody in the queue, and they sort of, and they never say thank you, you're just like, oh, I didn't have to wait. All these other people didn't wait. I find it when I'm driving as well. Like, you've got a line of cars, and you're waiting for that person. They don't even have the decency to just stick their hand up and say thanks, you know. It, it's just courtesy. I always say thank you, and please. And I, I just don't get it all. Like, if you're saying, oh, give me that. Love, get that for me off that shelf. Not until you say please, I'm not going to do that. So, you know, manners is just manners. Um, pointless cues. Oh, my God. There's, like, these people, you know, like, if you've been to an airport, if you don't been to an airport, you've probably got no idea what I'm talking about. But you're at the airport, and, I don't know, you're waiting to go through the metal detector thing to make sure you're not carrying any knives or guns or whatever. And you're sitting there, and, I mean, don't get me wrong, I was wearing a lot of bracelets, but my bracelets were plastic, so I didn't actually have to take my bracelets off. And if they were going to be, it was going to go through. So, I was okay. But you've got all these people that decide to wear their entire wardrobe on their, like, bodies, and it's just like really and so they're queuing up like waiting for you to do it or to get liquids out of your bags you know you're not allowed liquids on the plane unless it's like what is it 100 mil or something I don't, just don't carry liquids on the plane if you want to drink get it after you pass the metal detector don't sit here and wait everybody to get up okay it just makes it quicker for everybody else at six o'clock in the morning when we're already shattered it's madness okay just don't bring liquids um moody stewardesses we are all tired we all want to go home. We all want to get there. Just do what you're paid for and smile. I get it that some students have to do a lot, a lot of hard work. Like, a lot of hard work. You know, they've got continuous amount of, like, what well, we go through, the kids screaming, the unmannered people. You know, you've got questions. You've got queries. You've, you're tired. You're hot. You're sweaty. You want to eat. You want to piss. You want to get there. You want to go home. You want to see your husband. You want to watch EastEnders on a Monday night, you know? I get that, but we're having to be, you know, the people that are trying to be good, we're trying to be good too. So you try to be good for us as well. Um, prices, um, I find that they usually say in airports that prices are really good, you should get everything when you're at the airport. No, it ain't. Especially when you get there, like, you get there in, like, euros and stuff, and it's just, like, so much more expensive. A McDonald's or Burger King here, right, we're thinking, we're talking, like, £2.99 a burger, whatever. We're talking, like, Eight euros. 
eight euros and it's just like what eight euros for one burger that's not even a meal just a burger it's insane it's madness <laughs> so that also really annoys me like prices with things like food late comers late comers on the plane and you're all sitting there ready to go you know you've got the people that have decided to finish their overhead compartment business and you've got the crying kids over there that have shut up because they're chewing what sits and you've got the stewardesses that have changed their moods from bad to good you know your pilot's got his engines going and then you hear is the howard family not on the bus or the plane yet no 25 minute delay and it's just like oh god just get there on time that's why you're there three hours before you know, get your shit together, get on the plane, then we can all go on holiday. Just be there. Um, slow walkers. You know, you're all trying to get to the same place. Walk a bit faster. You know, it, it's not hard. I saw a little girl fall over um, because of this one person was just inconsiderate, walking like a slow idiot. You know, he didn't have a problem. You know, he wasn't on crutches or anything. He seemed fine. He was, like, 18. He was my age. You know, he seemed healthy. And he was walking, walking like a snail. But it, snails can't even walk if they walk faster. Snails slime, you know, they sort of slither. Whatever, I don't even know what snails do. What do snails do to sort of wiggle? Sort of, I don't know. And I study animal care and I don't even know what snails do to sort of, sort of walk. Um, late cover snail walkers are the makeup on some people's faces. I don't get it. You know, I wear makeup. Most girls do these days. I mean, on holiday, I didn't wear any makeup. Today, I've got a little bit of, well, I've got a bit of mascara on and a bit of top eyeliner, but that's about it. You know, the rest of it's like, just tan. And you can tell because my lips are like, red, which is the same colour as my normal lips. And it's like, I watched Lee Evans, and he said the same thing. It is so true. They're like, fit in any tiny bit of makeup they can fit on their faces and it's just like how do you fit it all on it's like makeup makeup bit more makeup and let's put a darker shade on and a bit more makeup let's put a bit more mascara on let's draw some bloody eyebrows up here how not to do makeup and you just look at some of them you know you can get this comb right you just get the claw of it and you can just go down their face and you probably like this thickness of makeup come off so yeah I don't get it. Yeah, you're beautiful without all that. You don't need all that. So, yeah. That's some things that really, 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 really bug me at airports and on the plane. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm sorry for this rant, but I had to be done. Welcome. I'm back. See you soon, guys.